In my book, The Origin of Species, I propose that species can arise through natural processes. Take, for example, the domestic pigeon. I believe that it is descended from a wild species of rock pigeon. There are so many similarities, and the bond between them is simply inheritance, which alone produces organisms like each other. I propose that the domestic pigeon species is descended from the rock pigeon, and that is why they have these similarities. The same principle would apply to wild species. In the plains of South America near the Straits of Magellan, there is one species of rhea, and northwards the plains of La Plata by another species of rhea of the same genus, not an ostrich or an emu like those inhabiting Africa or Australia, despite the fact that the ostrich and emu live at the same latitude. Why the similarities between these two rias? I propose that the two species have descended from a common ancestor. That explains the similarities between them, that natural processes gave rise to a natural species. These principles clearly apply to the varieties or breeds of all domestic production such as the different breeds of sheep or goat or pigeon or of agricultural plants which we harvest. Certain traits are selected for and thus one breed or variety through time has become different from another. I argue that the difference between breeds and varieties and then in the wild subspecies and species is rather an arbitrary one. There is no clear line which identifies where one species ends. And one biologist studying uh, a group of organisms might split them into different subspecies, while another biologist might split the same organisms into different species. It is not obvious where the subspecies ends and where the term species begins. The term species is rather arbitrarily given. And so these natural processes, which are evident around us, giving rise to breeds and varieties, I argue are the same processes responsible for the origin of species.